This may be the saddest mead tasting I've ever done. Let's get started. Today, I have some unfortunate news, but fortunate in a lot of ways. Um, about a week ago, I started having some symptoms and basically those symptoms led me to find out that I'm positive for COVID. And so um, thankfully I didn't have any serious symptoms. I only really had some head cold kind of stuff. So I'm very thankful for that to not have the true symptoms. And if you are somebody who has had COVID or know somebody, um, definitely keep them in mind for those serious symptoms because those are really rough um, and hopefully they feel better sooner. One of the things I lost in this time was my taste or is my taste because I still don't have it back. So today um, I've, I've gotten past all of the bad symptom stuff. I'm not on any more medicine and I figured Let's let's taste a few things to see if I can taste anything about my meads. So I have a few things here. We're gonna taste them, and I don't believe I'm gonna get anything. But this is my hope that magically, by the power of mead, I might um, actually find something here. But I got a couple st couple things. I've got a, a classic to me. This is an apple cinnamon mead I've made a million times. I know exactly what it tastes like every time because it's a a uh, house tradition of mine. This right here is a sample of um, what I'm going to call a hot, hot-ish honey mead. It was a mead that I used a um, chili-infused honey with. Ended up very sweet, so this thing is sweet. I remember what it tastes like. Uh, and then this right here is a house blend, a bunch of stuff that I've just like thrown into this as it's been extra. Let's start with the house blend. Let's see if I pick anything up. Yeah, I just get, it's really sad because it's like, I know there's honey character here. I know there's um, more presence. Like the, the weird thing about this is I'm getting like body. I can taste body really well, but I can't really pick up any actual flavor. Like I don't really get a lot of sweetness either. Uh, well, you really see that with this one because it is sweet and this one's even sweet, but I'm not getting any like floral character. I'm not getting anything that defines a mead. And that's really kind of disheartening. Um, yeah, that's like this. I feel like I've lost like 90% of my taste. I still get a little bit of like this one yeasty character on it. So I'm like this just popping through. It might be the most prominent character in the, um, in the actual house blend because it's a really young mead, but not really getting much from this one. Let's taste the hot honey slash um, sweet one. Oh, first of all, I can't smell anything. Nothing. I, I earlier, um, I had, like, when I first felt it going, I took and got a little glass of whiskey, and I, I didn't drink it at that time because I was on medicine stuff, but I just smelled it. Nothing. I had my nose, like, an inch away from the whiskey, and generally you can smell whiskey in the glass and I couldn't smell it at all. So I knew that it was going, that was going away um, about three, four days into this. Ooh, I can definitely taste a little sweetness on this one. That's it. No heat. I get like the slightest bit of floral just because I think it is so sweet. It's like my mind knows what I should be tasting, but like my, Taste buds are just like, nah, man, we're not, we're not doing it. I don't get anything. I don't get any, I mean, I get like a little sweetness, but other than that, this is one, uh, it feels more watery. There's a mouthfeel difference. I can, again, taste mouthfeel. <laughs> now let's switch over to the, the most uh, prominent one, the one that I know the best. I've tasted this one a million times. It's very apple-y. Um, apple juicy, cinnamon, um, honey characters very forward. I love this recipe. Nothing, absolutely nothing. That's so, de that's depressing. I can tell, like I said, my mind knows what it is. My body's like, we don't know what this is. Losing my taste has been obviously a big damper on videos. Um, I haven't been able to do much video wise 
and I probably won't be able to till my taste comes back. And that's because, um, you know, I want to be able to accurately make a mead and make adjustments. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to do what I can and continue to make video segments of stuff that doesn't require tastings, which will be kind of rough. But uh, if you are somebody who has dealt with COVID or um, know somebody, uh, keep those people in your mind. And, and I'm thinking about you if you are dealing with COVID now. It, it sucks. Um, and I'm I feel very fortunate to not have the major symptoms. So uh, stay safe. Obviously, wear a mask and do all the things that will help you keep away from this um, virus if you can. And, you know, we'll see. Hopefully this goes away sooner than later. But uh, this has been a pretty sad tasting. Hopefully in about a week, my taste will come back and my smell will come back so I can return back to normal, but until that time, um, I probably will not be tasting many meads because I can't appreciate them too much. So thank you guys for watching and um, I hope that you are staying safe and I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, week or day. So thanks, cheers. Here's a little bonus content. This is Sriracha. If you know anything about Sriracha, it's hot. I haven't done this yet. Let's see. A little spoonful of sriracha. I get heat. I don't get any flavor. We get the capsaicin, that's for sure. It's making my mouth hot. That's about it. This thing, nothing. I Okay, I do like hot food, but a spoonful of sriracha is not necessarily something I do normally. Tabasco. Again, probably getting it, gonna get heat from this. You do, I'm getting a little flush from the heat of it. That's the thing is like, you don't get taste, you just get heat. It's Tabasco. You get the vinegar. Nothing. Heat, of course. Sad. This is truly sad.